Good morning, here's my outfit of the day. Today I'm wearing some old slacks from New York and Company. I'm wearing a black top that is from Old Navy and then like a little cardigan from New York and Company. All of this is older, these are all older items I should say. Then I'm wearing my uh, black wedges from, I think I got these from Macy's. And then this necklace here that is from New York and Company, it's pretty old and a silver watch, and the one of the few rings that I have, I am wearing that. So I will talk to you guys later on today. I have never earned winter break as much as I am earning it here this year. So it is 4.15ish. The office has just closed and hopefully I will be going home very, very soon. Um, but I did wanted to check in, let you know how my day went and um, go from there so today all i really managed to do was te pre-teach a math lesson for tomorrow and we listened to some more of out of my mind initially i was going to do some wonders work but we had that district assessment it was a language arts one and that one took hours for everyone to be finished and it's a fine balance if you're a teacher out there it is such a fine balance to administer a test that is not timed and encourage the kids to take their time so they do well and also not get to the point where you are like are you guys are you kidding me you are still taking this test how long is it going to take for you to finish i have things to do so <laughs> i got to that point after we had been working on it for two plus hours um and it came down to the last two students so i checked their progress and just kind of said okay well we need you to you know take your time but we really need you to make sure that you're focused on finishing this test because sometimes kids are taking tests, especially computer-based tests, and they're, they look like they're taking the test, but they're really just like glazing over at the screen or their test and not really trying. So they finished up. Um, and then after that, I taught math. Um, I have a sub tomorrow, and the math lesson for tomorrow is another doozy where there's a lot of things going on, and you really honestly never know the quality of the sub that you're gonna get, not just in classroom management, but in also how comfortable they, are they teaching math, especially fifth grade math. People are really frightened of fifth grade math when they sub in elementary school. So I pre-taught it, meaning that we I introduced it, I talked about it, we did a few examples together, I gave them a chance to do one on their own, and they seem comfortable enough so that I know when the sub comes in and continues the lesson, it's not like this foreign lesson to them. So. Um, after that, it was pretty much lunchtime. Then we came back from lunch, and the kids had earned extra recess because they won spirit wear last week. They got their extra recess, then they went straight to PE. Then I picked them up from PE, and we listened to Out of My Mind for about 20 minutes or so. Then I had my meeting after school with um, the parents that I was gonna meet with. And um, overall, the conversation was very civil. We both definitely had our opinions or positions on the situation at hand. Basically, they were concerned with the amount of tickets their son is pulling. And he's not pulling a lot, in, in my opinion. He's pulling, or lately, he's been pulling maybe two a week. And they were not happy about that. And um, so he pulled two yesterday because it, he just happened to have kind of an off day. And he told them ha why he pulled the tickets. They didn't necessarily like the story or the scenario in which he was asked to pull the tickets. So we talked about that and we really went kind of back and forth on that for a while. And um, it through the conversation, it became clear to me that they felt like his spirit was being broken and that um, maybe I, they feel like I am too rigid in terms of managing the class and having them pull tickets. And so I kind of said my piece and what I, um, what my thoughts were on the situation. I did try and explain to them that a good portion of my job as a teacher is crowd control. And sometimes you have to be very rigid and structured in a classroom when you have a lot to teach and you have a lot of kids. And, um, you know, to just kind of shift the conversation to a more productive situation, I said at the end of the day, the tickets aren't 
him pulling those tickets and having those tickets remain in my record are not that big of a deal. My biggest concern right now is that you guys don't leave here today thinking that I don't believe in your son, I don't want the best for your son, um, I'm setting out to break his spirit because that is not the case. Like, that is not what I'm about at all. So I wanted to address that and we had a little bit more of a personal talk in terms of again i shared why i came to teach my approach what i do what i'm about and it really mirrors a lot of what their concerns are for for their student so i think we came to an understanding on that and my only suggestion to them was to say you know maybe instead of you know just getting so upset about the tickets when he when and if he pulls them maybe talk about them and use them as a learning opportunity and i think what i was trying to say this morning is that if you tell your child i don't want you to pull any tickets that creates a lot of anxiety in them because then they feel like if i pull one ticket oh my gosh i've really messed up my mom and dad's going to be upset because i'm not even thinking that as a teacher i do not look at any of them and say i you should pull zero tickets all year i would never ever 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 say that and um so I said, maybe talk to him about that and what you can learn from it. Um, and then we'll go from there. So we kind of wrapped it up on that. They thanked me. Um, they re reiterated what they wanted and that was kind of the end of it. But so after that, I got my sub plans ready. I got to work, I mean, the good news about the kids taking a test today that took them a long, long time was I did get to work on my sub plans for tomorrow. So by the end of the day, they were pretty much done. I just had to make copies and things and I was able to do that during my prep with PE. So everything is set up for the sub tomorrow. The agenda is all set on the board. And now I'm just going to clean up and head home. And I think that I'll be able to get yesterday's vlog up today too because I am behind and I think after today I'll be all caught up. So I'm just gonna go home and kind of take it easy. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something and I'm not sure what, but yeah, nothing else exciting to report. I might check in with you when I get home to show you what's on the menu for tonight with the blue apron. I don't think that I um, talked about that yesterday. Um, and if you are interested in trying out blue apron, I do have free five free trials I can send. They blue apron just gives them to me as a way to promote their company. So if you're interested, let me know and I can get your email address and send them out. I mean, I only have five of them, but I mean, you can try it if it's something you want to try and um, I'd be happy to send it to you. So I'm going to clean up. I'm going to walk out of here. I'm going to go home and just take it easy tonight. I've had um, some busy evenings this week. So anyway, I'll talk to you later. Maybe when I get home, maybe not. I hope you guys. So I just remembered what it was I was forgetting. I forgot to make a copy of the little handout that I need to give to students for our holiday party. And I use the part, the term party very lightly. Um, one of the things I have been made to feel guilty about <laughs> lately by some friends of mine is that I don't have, and none of us in fifth grade have any kind of holiday craft that we're doing with our class this year. And in years past, we used to, we used to have them make glass ornaments that um, we used to take a picture of them on transparency film and then we stick the transparency photo of them in a glass ornament and it was this cute festive thing we stopped doing that a couple years ago one because it's kind of an expensive craft the glass ornaments are necessary are not cheap when you have to buy a class set of 33 they also became very difficult to locate and find and then we had to buy the transparency film which is expensive we had to buy um, containers for them to be stored in because you couldn't just put them in a plastic bag because they were glass and um that was one reason the second reason quite honestly and it's sad and a little frustrating is that I think, at least for me, and I think I've said this in a previous vlog, I get so inundated with just the normal stuff that I'm trying to do and accomplish in a day with teaching that I totally forget about crafts, like doing cutesy, artsy, crafty things. And then when I do realize that it's too late. So one of my friends was like, it's so sad that you guys aren't doing anything in fifth grade, like creating a gift. And 
I agree, it is sad. It is sad that I don't, I don't even think about it. Like some teachers are really good and come November 1st, they're like, I need to prep for my December craft. I don't even think about it. Like I don't even realize, it doesn't even dawn on me to think about. Um, but I also said, and then at this age, I can't have my kids make like a popsicle stick frame because that seems juvenile and I'm sure they've made them before. So I want it to be something that is meaningful to them. So like just as excited as I get about seeing my third grade ornament on my mom's tree, I want it to be something like that, which is why I really liked those glass ornaments. But we just have not been able to get it together in fifth grade over the past couple years to get it done. And I feel so bad about it, but at the same time, I know why it's not happening. And plus, you don't get a whole lot of help in the classroom at the fifth grade level. And that project requires a lot of help. You gotta, it's, it's just, it's just a lot of work and you need some help. Um, but we do have a treat exchange. So I do this, which is like a white elephant treat exchange. And that's another thing, like other people are having full blown breakfast bar parties and I can't manage it and I don't have the money to do that. Um, so we do a treat exchange and basically it's white elephant so i have my kids make one homemade treat for a classmate and they wrap it up all festively and fun and then um on the day of our very light party you do the whole white uh, elephant thing where you pick the treat that looks the most attractive to you so i tell the kids you want to package yours to look really nice so that everybody wants it um and then we go through the whole white elephant thing and at the end of it everybody has a nice homemade treat that was prepared with love. Some kids end up buying store-bought things, but that's fine. And then they get to have their treat and we watch a holiday movie of some sort and then they like to watch me open the gifts that students have bought for me. And we just kind of call it a day. And honestly, I really like doing that because it's low key. It's just enough for the kids to feel like they're doing something special. Then I don't end up with eggs left all in my classroom and bacon and pancakes and sausage and muffins but then some people make me feel bad about it. So what I had forgot to do was to make copies of this paper to hand out so that parents have at least a week's notice of when we need these little treats to be made. So I'm getting ready to go do that now in the office and I'm gonna have to have the sub pass it out tomorrow and um, then I'm gonna go home. And I know for sure I have decided I'm gonna go home and I'm not gonna vlog anymore because Genesis didn't get her walk yesterday and I felt bad and I need to cook, so I'm not gonna have time. Let's be honest, I'm not gonna have time to vlog. Plus I have to edit yesterday's video so that I'm not behind anymore, so. Do any of you out, other teachers out there, if you teach upper grade, do you do full-blown parties or? I don't know, and then it gets really tricky with Christmas because not everybody celebrates Christmas. So even when we did the ornaments, there were a couple kids here that didn't celebrate Christmas. So then I'm like, ah, uh, well, I didn't like, they made the ornament, but we didn't call it an ornament. So then I didn't really know what they were gonna do with it. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, it is 6.10. I got home from Walking Genesis not too long ago. And then I was chatting it up with Mrs. Chu, Liza, my teammate, just kind of rehashing our day and reiterating the fact <clears throat> that everyone at our site is like ready for Christmas break. We don't go on Christmas break until December 22nd, which is a little bit later than what we normally do. And I think these extra days that we're muscling through, it's like taking a toll on everybody. Like the kids are acting as if they're on break. The teachers were all just so tired. And so like today at um, lunch, just to hear the teachers and like the days they're having and the things they're having to say to their students and remind their students of and how they're having to keep their, or what they're having to resort to to keep their class under control is quite comical. Um, have you guys there's a show that comes on tbs called teachers and it is the best show ever because it is it's crude humor and of course all the people in the show are teachers and they just say things that on your worst day or your toughest day you wish you could say out loud as a teacher but you don't so if you haven't seen that show check it out it's not on right now but it's going to be coming back on i think in january and it's a comedy obviously and it's about 30 minutes so i just thought i'd close the day out with letting you know what i'm having for blue apron so today i'm having i believe this is pronounced harissa chicken skewers with corazon wheat 
and persimmon salad. So here is what I'm gonna have. And um, prep time is 10 minutes, cook time is 35 to 45 minutes. They used to put the nutrition facts on here, but they don't anymore, so I can't really tell you um, that information, but I am going to be cooking that. I'm going to take a shower first. Um, sorry, it's dark, I'm going upstairs. So I'm gonna take a shower, I'm gonna put on my pajamas, cook, watch some YouTube videos while I cook, cause that's what I normally do since I can't really see the TV in my kitchen, I need to be entertained. And then I'm gonna enjoy my dinner, edit yesterday's vlog, and then just relax. I will be out tomorrow for LCAP, which means I will be out of the classroom, so I'll get a break and I'll be able to get some some work done. I might be able to start the chapter seven math videos because we will start chapter seven after Christmas break. And I really wanna get out of this situation where I'm creating videos as I go because that is quite stressful. But I thought I'd show you the pajamas I wear come holiday time. So these are my pajamas. I've had these for years. I always wear these around Christmas time. It's a top and a pair of pants that have little gingerbread men on them. And I got these from, from Victoria's Secret and I've had it for, had them I should say for several years. I think I originally bought them for pajama day at work. And I just always feel so Christmassy wearing my gingerbread pajamas during Christmas time. So I'm gonna put those on and wash my makeup off and just enjoy being in my comfortable pajamas and having a little bit of a breathing, a little bit of breathing room tonight in terms of the work that I need to get done, knowing that I have a little bit of a break tomorrow with my meeting and then being able to do some work after the meeting. So I'm gonna say good night because it's time for me to unwind, cook, and do all of that. I hope you guys had a fantastic day. I will see you tomorrow in Vlogmas Day. It is very hard to keep track of it. I think. What is today's date? Oh my gosh. And Vlogmas Day um, 14. Today's the 13th. I'll see you tomorrow in Vlogmas Day 14. Have a good night, everybody. Goodbye.